Welcome to Play It Like a Pro, presented by Alienware. Last week we brought you a pro on the desk. This week we brought you Sean. Yeah, <laughs> bit of a downgrade, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. But I mean, I'm out here. I'm out here. We're going to get it done. We're going to break this down. We've got some really cool stuff we're looking at. So Yeah, so the, what we wanted to talk about this week was utility and how important that is to the game. If you're progressing through the ranks as a player, I guess one of the questions that you commonly get asked is whether or not you know some smokes on the map or whether or not you know how to use your utility. So we thought we'd uh, provide an insight to that, and um, there was a patch to the game recently throughout the week, which changed a lot of things, particularly for one map, uh, which might also set the trend for how things go in the future, hopefully, and it'll bring in a real range of creativity and uh, an array of different smokes. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that change on Mirage has opened up that map um, completely, as far as strategically for the uh, offensive and defensive sides. So um, I think we're going to go into a little look here into... Yeah how we uh, break down these smokes. And now, the reason you can't throw smokes from anywhere on the map is, of course, because of those skyboxes. Now, we just see one there demonstrated. Now, that's changed a little bit on some of the maps, as we said, with Mirage, but it's not that easy. You have to be a little bit creative in the way that you throw your utility because there are these invisible forces stopping you from, I like, guess, just making things up sometimes. You get caught out, and as we see, sometimes with... Some of the, even the professional players, if they're off by a pixel, and you said it last week, yes. it's the difference between winning and losing a round. So as we see there, they've even utilised some of the skyboxes to be creative with strategy, yeah. and we can see that um, in that particular instance, they've actually bounced utility off skyboxes as well. So it's important to know your lineups, it's important to know how to utilise your utility, but that's all changed now on one of the maps too. So we might just roll the tape on the second map, which yes. is Mirage. Now... This is where it's all changed, hasn't it, Sean? Yeah, look, they've opened this wide open now as far as there's no more skyboxes. So your ability to throw utility from pretty much anywhere on the map to anywhere else is, is, is completely open now. So that is going to change the strategy and the way that teams practice these maps moving forward. And it's going to create, it's going to, I guess, promote creativity in the way that these teams approach it. That's right. Now, Mac, we see the B bombsite here. As a commentator, you don't see B bombsite executed on as much anymore because um, of these, these skyboxes. Yeah, no, you can definitely start to obviously throw these smokes from different angles. You know, that smoke was definitely not doable before. It was pretty, pretty beautiful smoke. To be pretty honest. impressive. Did you do that yourself, Jim? Yeah, I did actually. You'll notice my profile picture up the top there, oh, hopefully. Yeah. But in terms of what this allows people to do is it allows them to vary their position on the map and actually throw these smokes from anywhere. So what that means in terms of strategy is actually quicker rotations to areas of the map. Tees can be basically anywhere now and throw different smokes and enable their teammates to execute a, a, a wider array of strategy. So, I mean, this one, this smoke here, a new age of strategy, as I was saying, but Max said he saw it before. I was going to hate it. <laughs> he told me before he actually has seen it before, so... Unfortunately, that one, I can't claim. Well, I mean, if, if you look at this too, I mean, all these pro teams spend many hours practicing these smokes and flashes and making sure, as you pointed out, that they're pixel perfect because if they're not um, and you go into an execute, you have areas of the map that aren't covered or parts of the, the a site that isn't flashed and that can be detrimental to your team, can cost you a round. With this new change, everyone's going to have to... Pretty much everything's out the window for Mirage. You have to redo all your smokes, all your flashes... Um, and it creates an age of creativity that we haven't seen before in yeah. Counter-Strike. So it's, it's going to be exciting watching the uh, pros work their way through this. And as you pointed out, it's a good chance that we expect to see the skyboxes removed from all the maps. Well, hopefully that sets the trend. But, I mean, in that last clip there, we saw the smoke being thrown from another site uh, from a yeah. CT perspective. And it also allows you now to help and assist your teammates from other bomb sites. And you were saying earlier that now some of the timings allow you to throw smokes yeah. and actually appear... Um, in certain areas of the map in terms of timing and it, it becomes a real, uh, real battle now as to who actually can recognise where those smokes are coming from and make those certain adjustments too. So, um, as I said, uh, it's really important that you now go through all those maps and look at those lineups, look at the way that they're... I mean, they're not just throwing those smokes. I mean, in terms of just appearing in a server and, and practising your smokes, I wasn't just doing that, I wasn't just making them up. They were actually predefined lineups, and that's really important for a player that's looking to progress through the ranks, making sure that um, those smokes are utilised properly, your lineups, your reference points are on point. But uh, that'll about wrap things up here for the Play It Like a Pro segment presented by Alienware. Guys, we'll catch you next week.